Okay. You going? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you apply your sheets on just like wallpaper. And make sure you give a little bit of a rub with your hand to let the tape stick. And it'll, the warm of your hand and their skin will, will make it adhere. And then grab the split, hold it down with your opposite hand, and pull away um, directly against the, the tape. It actually creates a suction within between the skin and the tape. And this will keep your, your adhesion really good and make a good seal. And then pull your second piece down, same way, right against the skin. See? No air bubbles in there. And then take a second piece. Now this is her second bandaging. This was done yesterday, but you'll see there's no, around the edges here, there's no scabbing. Uh, no, no flaking or anything, nothing oozy in it at all. And the tattoo was done um, flushing at this point, so you'll this will just be clear for another five days, and, and then you take it off and just move to your aftercare for a few days, just to, to keep make sure it's healed well. So you do your second sheet and make sure that they cross over because they and the tape adheres to itself really well. And again, pull it down close to itself and pull back and it doesn't pull up off the skin. Sometimes you get a little rip in the paper, but that's okay. If, if that does happen and you get a lot that tears away, um, all you do is take a little bit of alcohol on a swab and uh, Soak it on and it'll just rub up. And it won't go through the, the tape because it's a one way barrier. So there won't be any stinging or anything on the, on the tattooed area. I'm having trouble getting a hold of it. There we go. And again with your second piece, pull up against the skin. Can you feel the suction on that? Yeah. How if, and pull it up against the skin. And there you go. If you are worried about any creases or anything at the top, the top is where you need to be a little more worried about the adhesion. If you're worried about any creases being in there because it may let water in if they were showering, put some white cover roll or meat pour at the top and it'll make a good seal. Same with the bottom. And you'll be done. You're all done, Nicole. Okay, so this is Shannon's leg after um, five days of tattoo derm. She actually did very well, no weeping, and uh, didn't even need a rebandage. But as you can see, there's zero scab. It is absolutely immaculate and really no traces that it's even uh, a new tattoo. Besides the fact that we know when it was put on. When I had a tattoo prior, it uh, it hurts when it heals. It uh, it takes a long time. It goes through the icky, yucky stage, and uh, as it heals, it gets tight, and that makes it hard when you're moving. Now, the difference when with the derm, there's nothing like that. It's just smooth. Um, I've had it twice before, and once I've had it 
Uh, I really liked using the tattoo derm as opposed to not. I found that um, with the tattoo derm there was no crusty stage. There was no it didn't get hard or or uh, ooze or anything like that. It just made it a lot easier, and I could get put my clothes right on over it. There was no staining of my of my clothes. There was no uh, you wake up in the morning and have a mess on your sheets from the from the tattoo. Um, it was just a lot easier to deal with. It healed quicker, especially my last tattoo. It was I didn't even need to change the derm. It was perfect, uh, and it just feels like it's been there forever.